This video shows you how to use the new engraving actions by PanosFX.com to convert your photos into black and white or color engravings. Begin with loading the Actions file in Photoshop using the Actions panel. Let's take a look at the Actions panel and understand what each action does. You must run the Pattern Maker action first. This action creates the engraving patterns. You need to run this action once only. The patterns will be stored in Photoshop until you remove them manually using either the Patterns panel in Photoshop CC or the Preset Manager in Photoshop Elements and in older Photoshop versions. Having created the patterns, you can load one image and turn it into an engraving using one of the actions below. The four actions contained in the first group create engravings with continuous lines. The first action of this group creates very dense lines and is more appropriate for images of low and medium resolution. The second action creates dense lines and should be used with images of medium or high resolution. The other two actions create engravings with sparser lines and should be used with images that have larger sizes. The actions will give you the option to set the preferred size of the final engraving. The action in the dotted lines group creates an interesting variation with the engravings made of dense, dotted lines instead of continuous ones. Run the Pattern Maker action first. As was mentioned earlier, the patterns will be stored in Photoshop until you remove them manually. Therefore, you only need to run this action once. Then load one photo from your hard disk. The actions have been programmed to work with flat images and with images with transparent areas. We will demonstrate this by removing the background from the photo in our example. Let's run the Very Dense Lines action. The Very Dense Lines action, used in this example, works best with photos of low and medium resolution. The action recommends you to set the size of the longest side of the photo between 1000 and 2000 pixels. The action will process your photo, taking into account three different scenarios regarding the original tonal range. When it finishes, it will have produced three different engravings on your screen. Choose the one you prefer mostly. In the next step you'll be able to tweak it further. In the Photoshop version, the layer name double-click to adjust contrast by color is selected by default. Double-click and move the sliders to make selective adjustments. You can also use the layer named double-click to adjust levels to change the overall contrast. Click the eyeball of the layer named Turn On to add color to colorize the engraving. Change the layer's opacity to your preference. Apart from colorizing the engraving, 
you can apply a custom color overlay by activating and using the layer named. Turn on and double click to apply single color. You can also expand the contents of the lines group and change the opacity of the various layers. Let's turn a larger photo into an engraving. This time we'll use the dense lines action. The action recommends you to set the longest side of the photo between 1500 and 300 pixels. The action created three different engravings from the original photo. Let's keep the one in the middle and tweak it a bit. Thank you for watching. 